Being a great need for treatment centers in our area, two addiction treatment professionals are looking to open a new facility in Wilkesbury. But first, they need to get the green light from the city's zoning board. 2822 News reporter Amelia Sachs spoke with them about their plans, and she joins us live in Wilkesbury with more on that. Amelia? Nick, Candace, good evening. Those new owners want to repurpose this vacant assisted living facility and turn it into a drug and alcohol detox and treatment center. Now they're specifically hoping to serve those who are on medical assistance because they say that's a group that has a difficult time finding this kind of care. This is going to be a place where people can change their life. Always believe. That's the proposed name of a luxury treatment destination aiming to open its doors in Wilkes-Barre. The goal for this place is to provide uh, medical stabilization and residential primary treatment uh, for people suffering from substance use disorder in Northeast Pennsylvania. Nick Colangelo and Larry Moran both have extensive backgrounds in addiction treatment care. They say their new facility would service up to 120 people and create more than 30 jobs. And we're, we're talking about good jobs. We're talking about licensed nurse practitioners. We're talking about nurses. We're talking about medical professionals. We're gonna need janitorial, custodial, and, and, and kitchen staff as well. The facility will welcome clients of all insurance backgrounds, something the owners say is needed Needed in this area. We believe all people need the opportunity uh, to get good service, get an opportunity to change their life, put their families back together, and uh, get on with having a, a life after addiction. Moran says the opioid epidemic is a local crisis. I can list uh, for hours the family members that I know from this community who've lost loved ones to this crisis. By opening up Always Believe, Moran and Colangelo hope to curb the crisis and help those who need it most. We have to stop the fentanyl uh, and opioid epidemic, uh, and this is the best way to do it. Meet them on the front lines with 120 beds that are here to welcome the people that can't get access to good treatment elsewhere. Now the owners say the property needs a variance to take it from a residential to an institutional property since it's technically in a residential area. Now the neighbors that I spoke with in the area did not express concerns about the property being here and the owners say that there will be 24 hour security. Now the fate of Always Believe will be decided at the city zoning hearing on April 17th. Reporting in Wilkes-Barre, Luzerne County, Amelia Sack, 2822 News. Thanks, Amelia.